Hi, welcome to Kate Space. Welcome to my channel. It's a beautiful winter's day here. It's unseasonably warm out there. I've been for a long walk this morning and then into town. I've got it into my head that I want, my, want to knit myself uh, like a sleeveless vest, uh, but I've got a pattern and that's about as far as I've got with that. But I'm back from being at the Sens New Zealand, uh, the Sens Craft Expo in Auckland. Uh, some op shopping and the flea market. So yeah, I'm gonna try and get through it all in one video, but we'll just see how I go. Early start this morning as I head to the airport to catch my plane to Auckland for the Sens Expo, which is a New Zealand crafting expo. It's not huge, but it's what we've got. So I'm very excited meeting up with Barb because it's in Auckland obviously I'm gonna see my kids as well so bonus hopefully we'll do some op shopping and we're hoping that the central flea market is on and we'll go there too so yeah I thought I would do a video blog of it look at that beautiful sunrise all right talk soon I went out with Briley I got there Thursday morning and we went to a, a place called Photo Gear and I got a new setup for my camera which is a setup now it's a much better uh, clamped pole and I also bought um, a new light so I'm hoping that if I do go on filming into the into the evening or late afternoon it's only little but it gives out a lot of light and also i bought a stand for my ring light which i'm hoping with those two lights i should have lots of light and not too much shadow so that were, that was really great then on friday morning i met up with barb and we went to sends with another friend of ours from rotorua who i haven't seen for many years now we got a freebie bag because we actually bought tickets for the three days but actually only ended up going for one day it was quite a small expo and smaller than the previous years that i'd been to but the freebie bag was really, um, really beautiful. It's this lovely tote, obviously sponsored by Stampin' Up. And it's got this sort of hand-painted floral on it. And it's reversible. So on the other side is like, it's just these yellow sort of polka dots. So yeah, a really cool bag with lots of cool freebies in it. That um, some of which... I will use and some of which I will not use. We're going round again. We've been here since 9.30 and we're still going. I've met Michelle here and Barb and a friend Mel and Lynn and we've had lunch and now we're doing round two. We're having a ball. What did I buy there? I bought some Tim Holtz clips these are, I've got a few of these, but there's a sort of brownie ones. These are sort of more, um, that sort of tarnished silver. I don't know what, what you would call them. So I purchased those. I purchased some flowers from a little stall that was selling, obviously, these little flowers. Um, I really wanted white ones, and when I asked her, she said, no, the white ones are on a container somewhere between here and, um, Thailand <laughs> so I got the flattest ones I could got some little yellow ones and I got these adorable blue ones I haven't opened anything I was waiting so I could show you and I want to put everything away so that's why I'm doing this now um, so that I can tidy up my studio because my studio is is really messy I love these blue ones so I got a few blue ones I think these ones here are black. They were a freebie, probably. Don't know if I'll use those. These little white ones and these cute little white ones. Yeah, so I've got a few white 
with yellow centers and some blue so they will be probably showing up in some projects i was pretty happy with those they were a really reasonable price and i think they will be cute they're not too bulky to go onto projects like some of the flowers that i have from my scrapbooking days are very bulky um, I think everything else in this bag, oh no, I bought myself a tear ruler, a deco edge ruler. Um, I kind of wanted the We Are Memory Keepers one, couldn't find it. So this is a creative memory, um, creative something, creative expressions ruler. So yeah, we'll give that a go. Right, I can put that in with my other rulers now, showing you guys. <laughs> Um, what else did I buy? Oh, I wanted some We Are Memory Keepers eyelets and I grabbed these. I did not have my glasses on and we have, unfortunately, and it's not really what I would choose, we have some silver flower shaped ones <laughs> and I think we have some heart shapes. We have stars, which again wouldn't be something I would choose. So I really wasn't paying good attention to, um, oh yeah, I think these ones here are hearts. Yes, they are. But that's okay, I needed some more. Um, yeah, that's just one of those things, isn't it? When you're not wearing your glasses and you see something, get all excited and, and you purchase it. So what else did I buy from, from the Sims? Not, a hell of a lot really i got some of these scissors which i've been after for a while these cutter b ones i do my fussy cutting well i had been and then i lost them they had lasted me for a very long time and so i wanted to replace them because i didn't find anything else that i liked as much um what else did i purchase i purchased just some um knife blades nothing too momentous and i purchased some little tim holtz tiny paper clips because they're always handy and that's about all i think the rest of the stuff is sort of like freebies so we got this this and this from rosie's we got this from a woman um tania lee design who is a new zealand um designer who isn't it does junk journaling i got this as a freebie this tiny little die which i haven't tried out this little frame die i'm looking forward to trying that this pen this is a stamping up pen stampin blends not really sure what that's actually for and i think that oh i bought some wax linen thread because I've always used cream and I thought I could do with a new colour. So I bought this kind of dark brown. Oh, I hope it's not, is it black? I think it's more dark brown than black. Anyway, a dark wax linen thread. So yeah, that will be good. More blades. Yeah, so and this actually, this little pouch was a freebie as well. And these things which are something to do with becky higgins and they're like a baby album monthly dividers so i'll have to come up with something to do with those this came from a store called picture stamps and it was just um just some card bases this came from the flower sim where i got the flowers this was a freebie so some really nice sort of handmade paper envelopes and some sequins not sure about those oh this is something i purchased from tanya lee designs who was more a junk journaler because a lot of the stores were more scrapbooking based but i actually met up with lynn my friend lynn and she um bought barb and i some more ledger <laughs> which was so kind of her i was a little bit unorganized and didn't bring any gifts for anyone which i was a bit embarrassed about but never mind next time yes so i found some of this cool film strip so yeah it's really neat and the images are really cool they're at like the, a carnival 
So it's like a young children's sort of film strip about going to the carnival and the things that you might see there. And it's called The Show. And uh, Lynn got one as well. And it's in this, uh, they came in these really cool boxes. So we thought that was right up our alley. Yeah, so National Film Library, The Show. So yeah, great little purchase. So I think that's pretty much all I purchased there. Uh, the next day that uh, Barb and I went op shopping or thrift store shopping. Hi everybody, it's Kate. So next day we had a wonderful time at the Sens Expo and today we're doing a bit of op shopping. We haven't had much luck though, so we're just popping into this one now. It's a beautiful day and we'll see what we can find. A lot of luck. We went to a suburb in Auckland that's quite would be considered a quite a wealthy suburb. The op shops there were mostly clothes based and, and pricey. They didn't have a lot of sort of crafty paper craft sewing things. Uh, the last one we went to was in a different suburb on the way to the craft shop, the Ribbon Rose that we wanted to go to. And that was where we found most of the stuff. So I found a bag of eyelets for a dollar and then just some little sewing notions this ratty old snaps the uh, eye hooks and eyes and some really little self covering buttons i love those really tiny ones and then also i found this these envelopes they're a lovely creamy just large envelope and this pack of blotting paper which is a beautiful heavy paper. I'm not sure what I will use it for, but it's a beautiful white, really lovely heavy paper. So those were really the op shop finds. So that was a fun day at the op shops. And then we went to the shop called Ribbon Rose and I purchased a few things there. Now we're at the Ribbon Rose, a huge craft shop in Auckland. We're in the fabric section upstairs. Yeah, the fabric section's upstairs. One level down is paper craft and art, and the level down after that's embroidery and handcrafts and knitting. It's huge. It's just opened in this new premises and it's really cool. So yeah, we're having a great day. Bought a few supplies. I'll give you a quick squiz. In my little basket of goodies. Happy days. I purchased some Tim Holtz stencils, some lovely snowflakes, and this damask one, which is beautiful. I found these flowers, which I've been after for a long time, so I bought two packs of those. And I bought some staples to stock up on my tiny attacher. I bought a DMC needle threader. So the Ribbon Rose now has re has changed with their premises and they are now in a three-story building. On the bottom floor is like uh, sewing, embroidery, knitting, handcrafts. On the second floor is paper crafts and arts. And on the top floor is all their fabric and sewing and sewing machines. It's a huge building and we had a ball there. I bought some Liquitex um, matte gel and I bought... An antique linen reinker to see if I can refresh that antique linen ink pad that I keep moaning about, and then I won't I'll stop whinging about it. And I bought a speckled egg distress ink, and I also bought a hmm, I bought another ink. I bought this ink here, an archival ink, just in this lovely potting soil brown colour for stamping and I also bought a brush pen because Meg Journals does such beautiful lettering with her brush pen and I was inspired. It wasn't super expensive. I've had a play with it. I'm absolutely terrible uh, but I thought well it'll be fun to just play and have a go so we will see if um, I get any good at that but my handwriting and lettering has never been particularly great but yeah I thought it would be fun fun thing to play with so that was that day we had such a ball and it was a really lovely day 
The next day, Barb was going home and also it was the end of the school holidays and the end of a long weekend. So we went early to the Central Flea Market. things there we had such fun and I bought this lovely index card holder box which I've got a few of these now and I really love them uh, this one was a very reasonable price actually I normally pay have paid more than that for the for those but anyway I'm thrilled with that one I bought some so singer sewing machine attachments now I have an old Singer sewing machine which is in the wardrobe upstairs. I had taken it out of the desk because the desk got ruined in the floods. And it's sitting in the wardrobe and David told me I should sell it. But I found this little Singer sewing box and I'm hoping these bobbins will fit. Because I don't have bobbins for it. And if they fit then I might be able to get it up and running. I don't know what any of these attachments are but I do have the Singer sewing machine little book as well so maybe i'll be able to get that up and running we'll see if not i will i will part with it i love this box and inside are these gummed labels so they're little price labels that look like that i don't know i just had to have it and the guy said i could have it for a dollar so i was like oh yeah i'll definitely take that and then while at it, i'm at it i'll take this tin <laughs> this just kind of grungy looking old tobacco tin bit of a um, softy for the tins we both bought these jam old jam labels I only got two I wasn't sure I want to see if I use them I will be going back and so he might be there and be able to get some more he had quite a lot um, he was charging a dollar each for these but they're very beautiful the graphics on these are very cool I haven't really had a thought about how I might use them, but yeah, I thought they were really neat. And then I got a whole lot of vintage envelopes. So their first day covers most of them, I think, all to Miss Isabel Crawford. And yeah, so some of them have got something in them, but I think it's just cardboard to hold them, hold them in shape. But yeah, they're really cute. I thought that one was cute. Oh, I've got lots of those. I thought they were cute with the little bubbins, little baby. They'd be cute for a journal. I've had this one before and I love it. So I got that one and another one here and another one of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth, 1953. Got a couple of those. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. And that was all I got from the market this time. But they were all things really really well priced so i was really thrilled oh the other thing i did get was a big huge lot of scrapbooking and craft stuff for five dollars which i gave to ella to use in her junk journal so yeah she was pretty happy about that so all in all a very successful weekend i am now able to clean all this up and get on with some crafting so if you've stuck with me thanks so much for watching i will see you again soon in the next video bye